so much. Yes. Hi. So, um, who is your favorite actor you ever worked with? Oh, sorry. You worked with on Supernatural. Who's my favorite actor that I worked with on Supernatural? Um, well, let's see. There's, uh, there's Jared. No, not him. Uh, <laughs> Jensen. No, not him. Uh, favorite actor on Supernatural. Um, you realize what you're doing, right? <laughs> you're asking me a question that is impossible to answer without offending pretty much everybody that I know. <laughs> who's, who's, yeah, let me turn this around on you. Who's your favorite actor on Supernatural? There is, by the way, a right answer to this question. <laughs> you! Yeah. Oh my god, I... <laughs> Am I blushing? That's so weird. Okay, great. Uh, yes. Uh, the Impala, by the way, is my answer to that question. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good, how are you? You're very smiling. You have a nice smile. Thank you. I'm so yes, thank you for you. smiling. That's nice. <laughs> um, so, I first saw you for the first time in Dallas last time. Yep. And when you walked into the photo op room, um, I started crying, and so did a bunch of girls behind me. So, my question for you is kind of a two-parter. Wait, so, wait, I'm sorry. So, when, when we first were in the same room, you started crying, and so did a lot of other people behind you in line? Yeah. Um, was it disappointment? <laughs> get to the other part of my question, or maybe... Oh, she's growing down. I, no, I was just, I just thought that the question was going on for an awfully long time. So, um, my question is kind of a two-part. First of all, how does it feel to be so attractive that when you walk into a room, females... <laughs> talking to somebody dressed as Mr. Rogers, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Um, the second part of my question is, more seriously, how do you kind of deal with, you know, your celebrity? Um... Ness. Wait, what? What is all this whispering? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're just finishing the sentence for her? Everyone was collectively saying status? Okay. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you. Um... Oh, that... Was that a whistle or a human voice? I think that, well, for starters, I can definitely say with authority that I, I confront the whole issue of celebrity with a great deal of dignity <laughs> and self-respect. As you can tell, I will soon be m moving into a home made of maxi pads. <laughs> um, so, in a nutshell, it's really panning out just how I, I always hoped it would. Um, It's a pretty glamorous thing. It's pretty, pretty, um, I've got a lot of uh, high-end sort of fashion consultants and that sort of thing. Make sure I'm always presenting myself in the best light. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's cool. It's really good. Um, it's weird. I hate that word. I hate it. So, I mean, obviously. Like, the idea of celebrity is kind of uh, repugnant, I think, at the outset. Like, famous people just for the sake of, you know, famousness. Thank you. Um, but, um, I think that, I, I, I don't know, I, I guess I, I, I got into acting weirdly in part because I wanted to try to, I don't know, somehow be influential or, or be able to do really interesting creative projects and 
Uh, and so I think that aspect of it is kind of cool. Like maybe it will help. Help. It already has helped facilitate some creative projects, and that's exciting to me. Um, and you know, another thing about it is, I mean, this is not a uh, this is not a lie at all. I really don't like having my picture taken. <laughs> so it's kind of a great fit for me, you know. Um, The, uh, the cameras, by the way, all pretty much went up in unison when I said that. Is this just a loose tampon? Oh my god, they're so tiny! Are they all this small? <laughs> no, there's a resounding... So there's some real monsters out there, huh? You know what's amazing? I don't think I've ever done this before. How can I be 40 years old and have never done this before? It's only lightly used, don't worry about it. <laughs> and then this, you just throw away, huh? You can reuse it for something. <laughs> See what I mean, uh, newcomers? <laughs> I, I forewarn you, it's a shit show. Okay, um... Oh, wait, wait! Did we finish everything? Are we done? Yeah, I think so. You're not, are you satisfied? That's a loaded question. What? <laughs> Wait, what did you yes. say? Loaded question. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are Hi. you? I'm good. Uh, I just wanted to know, since you went to drama school, was it fun? Was it fun at drama school? Thank you. Oh, anytime, Bar. Anytime. Um, oh, I, 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 uh, I don't know how to put this to you. I didn't really go to drama school. I... I spent, I spent a few weeks at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, like a month maybe, in London, and that's it. So, and my friend over there, the latest, uh, most stubborn one that I spoke with earlier, um, this, uh, you know, this is not meant to disparage you at all, but I don't really think that you need drama school or, or drama teachers to be an actor. Um, certainly not to be a bad actor. Like that, that you can walk into. No, it actually, uh, it helps a lot, uh, but but I, a lot of people who work as actors don't, did not go to drama school. And you can see it you know, in our performances <laughs> that we didn't. Yeah, um, not, none of the lead guys on Supernatural went to drama school. Uh, did Mark Shepard go to drama school? Thank you, is this another one? This one is a bit more substantial seeming in the packaging. Um, have you been to drama school? I'm going to try out for one. You're going to try out? All right, well, good luck. Um, uh, but you don't need it to be on Supernatural. Supernatural, <laughs> as long as you can kind of move your lips a little bit on Supernatural, you should be fine. Um, and even not, I mean, you probably, there's lots of characters who have been dead, for example, on the show, and so moving your lips is not even a prerequisite. <laughs> the bar is pretty low. I was going to say you have to be a human, but that's not true either. It's, well, it's a pretty much an open door policy over at Supernatural Films, Inc., um, as far as actors are concerned. Talent is not a requisite. Yeah, also, yeah, good talk. Hi. Hi, Misha. Okay, Hi. So I was wondering how different do you think the show would be if Castiel's character were a female? Um, 
how would the show be different if Pass was a female? Yeah, just how do you think the show would have gone if Pascal were a female? Well, for starters, Pass would be dead. Um, that's what somebody said. I'm not saying that. No, no, I'm not saying that. Um, because there's lots of female characters on Supernatural who are not dead. Um, but Charlie, who's awesome. And Sheriff Joe Mills, who's awesome. Um, and Sheriff Donna and Claire Novak. Um, I think the show's got some really great um, lady, women uh, at the moment. Um, also, what? I always say um. I say that to, to pass the time. Um, <laughs> Thank you for helping me feel self-conscious. That's amazing. Yes. Great work, guys. And how fun is this? Except I couldn't go, oh no! I think we need mortar of some sort. Um, this is great. The one problem with it is Jared is just going to kick this the minute he gets on stage. But <laughs> reprimand him when he does that. Um, here, it needs a chimney. <laughs> oh. Classic chimney. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you guys. Great work. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you guys. Great work. Really good level. Um, ah, now I'm self-conscious. Thanks a lot. <laughs> what were we talking about? If Cass was a woman. Um, well, for starters, I don't think that um, on network television we would have seen Cass's nipples. <laughs> that would be one major difference. What's that? <laughs> I think probably Destiel would still be a phenomenon. That wouldn't change. Um, what else? What would be different? I was just wondering, like, mate, how would like the relationship with the boys, not just Destiel, but like what they would have like done would have been different. Like how the story would have been different. How, how the story would have been different? Like, where would it go? Would it have gone the same way in Pascal for a female? I'm sure that that would have influenced the show a bit. I would like to think that it would. Otherwise, the writers are just robots. Um, and they're not. So, yeah, I'm sure it would have influenced the show. But uh, where it would have gone, I cannot tell. Um, there was a time when we weren't even, like, there was a little bit of uh, question as to whether there was, as to whether angels were sexed so to speak, at all. But I think we kind of established that they are in the supernatural universe. Um, so, yeah. All right, yep, good talk. Thanks. Bye. Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Good. Um, I just wanted to know, when you go to conventions and things, how do you feel when you see people dressed as cats? I, I like it, um, because it makes me feel not alone in the world, you know? It's like, ah, these are my people, there's, there's, there's one of me, and there's one of me, and one of me. Um, you know, because poor Cass, he's such a loner outsider, and, but at conventions, he's like, ah, he's actually kind of with it, from a fashion perspective anyway, um, evidently, because everyone's wearing the same thing. It's totally in vogue now, um, at conventions. Um, I like the, the, these Castiel dresses. They're nice, I should get one. Osric has one. Os Osric looks great in, in that dress. Um, hmm. Do you, have, do you, go, uh, do you go in Hot Topic, you could try it on, you'd be like, oh, this is the right size, it's not. Your mom got it for you. Ah. I'll give you my discount. Are you a Hot Topic employee? How is it over there? Is there do, do supernatural products sell like hotcakes? What? When when you're there, they do. I like that. Um, I would like this. Uh, I would like this AC AC cup. Well, can I interest you in a Sam and Dean T-shirt? <laughs> Who are they? 
let me tell you, let me tell you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. 